Hey guys, um, today I wanted to share with you what I keep in my bag. Um, now there's been a lot of chatter about how I get away with carrying a bag quite so small, so I thought I'd show you. Um, so let's start with the actual bag. Um, I got this from Primark um, while I was working in Cheltenham. It is just about big enough to be functional. Um, and I don't carry a lot of kind of excess stuff like most other YouTubers seem to. I keep my kind of bag quite empty and quite free. And kind of anything in this bag doesn't stay in here longer than the day I'm using it. I kind of empty it each night and check it's only got stuff in it that I'm really going to need for tomorrow. So this is the bag I went shopping with today in its kind of current setup and as you can see it's pretty rammed like there isn't a lot of like extra room for shopping and stuff um, which I like. I used to carry this like massive bag around and I would just fill it with stuff that I just didn't really need so I decided to go for like a smaller one so I would have to like streamline my process um, so there isn't going to be a lot of like just diving in because everything's in like little bags like this um, so this is the way I organize my handbag is I get everything in smaller bags and everything kind of contained within it um, so this pouch has an external battery the cable needed for my external battery and a headphone splitter in it um, and two strange jack to jacks but that's like my electronics pouch when I am taking my phone out I always take my iPhone charger with me as well and so that goes in there um, yeah it's just nice to keep it all together the next thing in my like four things is my purse and um, I have one of the biggest off spray purses I've ever seen because I have a lot of shopping carts. Mama likes her royalty carts. So you know, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen loyalty cards in here. Um I've taken out my driver's license because it's embarrassing. And I have a little picture of me and my family when I was little. that's kind of nice um I had to get a purse with like a million pockets so it's quite a chunky one which is also the other reason I went for a bag of exactly this size because it just fits in there um I have at the bottom the makeup that I took to kind of shopping with me today I have a retractable kabuki I have the real technique ones that I bought probably about a week and a half ago and I've been loving. Um, the lipstick that I was wearing but I'm not anymore, this is the Ted Baker red one. <laughs> they don't have shade colours, um, kind of unfortunately. So it's this one. I was wearing that, if you can believe it or not. Just and the last thing in my makeup bag is the blush that I was wearing today. This is Bon Bon by Mua. Um, it's really nice. I mean, it kind of fades quite quickly, so you have to keep reapplying it, but it is beautiful. So there is that. I'm willing to reapply a beautiful, stupid helicopter. I'm willing to reapply a beautiful blush, um, but this guy is just the perfect size for a tiny handbag like mine. Um, and so that gets like rolled and put in the bottom of my handbag. The last thing, oh no, the second to last thing that I have in my handbag is this pouch. Um, and this one has a lot of stuff in it that could potentially be quite random. Um, so I have my lip balm, which is not in my makeup bag because sometimes I don't take my makeup bag out with me. If I have done like super long lasting 
makeup that won't need touching up during the day. I'll just take this out with me and pop that back on the top. Um, I have got tissues. Everybody needs some tissues. I have got blockheads. Now these are um, like chewing gum that have got caffeine in. So they're mint plus vitamins plus caffeine gum. Sugar free, works five times faster than, an, 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 than an energy drink. And one packet is five energy drinks. So you're only supposed to have four bits a day. And I've only had two in the past two weeks. But like on a day, on a day when, you know, my camera macchiato hasn't really done it for me. I'm like, get me some, get me some caffeine. No, I have a fancy fountain pen. Yep, a fancy fountain pen and a regular biro because you can't leave home without a fountain pen and a biro. Well, I can't anyway. Um, I have two wet wipes, one from KFC and one from another fast food place. Um, I like to stock up on those because you never know when you need a wet wipe. Um, I have two little bars of chocolate because you never know when you need that sugar boost. Um, yeah, I've got those in there. And the last thing is probably super random if you don't have like the qualifications I have. Um, so I have essential first aid from the St. John's, yeah, and I also have pair of gloves and a resuscitation mask I kind of feel that it's my responsibility to be able to be able to provide these things um, so I have I am first aid trained and so as a trained first aider I feel like it's my responsibility to just be able to pull these things out of my bag and save somebody's life so I carry these with me at all times I used to also carry like plasters and stuff just in case I had to patch someone up on the street, but I never used them. So these are like my first aid safety blanket, as it were. That is it for that one. Random stuff over. The last thing that I have in here is my passport. I was going somewhere that I needed to, I was going somewhere today, so I was getting some traveller's checks today. You need your passport. Um, so I have that. I mean, the photo is so embarrassing that I'm not going to show you. But the pages are kind of strange. British passports. Ugh. British. British passport. United Kingdom me. British. British passport. Ah. And that is my bag empty that is all I carry with me on like a normal day to day basis it's all I took into town with me today was those random things my purse and this I do also have a phone but I was wearing a dress with pockets so it lived in there my headphones lived in the other pocket um, so yeah I'm going to stick my phone back out of my pocket um, so that's it for what's in my bag. I will keep you updated because I feel after the summer I'll probably go back to a bigger bag again and then the gathering of stuff will start again and I'll have like the biggest bag you've ever seen and I will fill it with rubbish. So that'll be fun. Um, thanks for being here guys. Um, it means a lot to me and I will see you next time. Bye!